Poltergeist activity is one of the most fascinating, confusing and terrifying areas of paranormal investigation. The word poltergeist is German for noisy spirit. For many centuries, people have been experiencing various poltergeist activity all around the world. The following are just a few real-life poltergeist activity stories that have been experienced over the centuries. Number 6, Northamptonshire, England, 1658. Mrs. Stiff and her two daughters and her mother became the target of poltergeist activity. Furniture was stacked in front of a doorway. Flax was continually taken out of his box and thrown about, even when the box had been closed and locked. A loaf of bread was seen dancing around the kitchen. Mrs. Stiff's shoes floated around upstairs. Stones flew through the windows in both directions. A carving knife was hurling towards a servant, point first, but at the last instant it rotated in midair to harmlessly strike the man with the handle. Number 5. Stockwell, England, 1772. The Golding family was tormented by the following series of events. Stacks of dishes flew off the kitchen shelves, smashing on the floor. Bottles of wine and rum that were about to be served to guests shattered. Joints of ham that were curing on hooks on the ceiling fell to the floor. The coal scuttle was overturned. Candlesticks flew across the room. A bucket of cold water suddenly began to boil. The disturbances ended when the young maid was fired. Number 4. Stratford, Connecticut, USA, 1850. The Phelps family were plagued with poltergeist activity, which included a candlestick leapt off the fireplace mantle and repeatedly smashed itself against the floor until it broke. Number 3. Quebec, Canada, 1889. Mrs. Dagg and her family first experienced disturbances when the family noticed money inexplicably being moved around the house. And then Mrs. Dagg found feces smeared on walls. Her 11-year-old daughter Diana was attacked when her braids were violently pulled and stones were thrown. Number 2. Boyer Brook, Western Australia, 1955. Bill and Ethel Hack started to experience the following strange activities around their property. Dull torchlights going on and off accompanied by stones landing accompanied by a low whistling noise. Stones of all sizes, pieces of iron, wood, soap, potatoes were thrown around, later escalating to bigger stones, bottles, bones, tins and boots. A stone weighing 15.9 kilos hit a water tank and landed so lightly there was no damage and stones that landed on roofs did not roll but stayed where they fell. On one occasion they observed the stone lift off the ground and came at them, striking Bill on the ankle, then dropping to the ground. This strange phenomena lasted over a number of years. Number 1 Cape Cod, USA, 1962 In 1962, a couple whilst on holiday in Cape Cod experienced a host of poltergeist noises, including tapping and clicking noises and the sound of a man walking around on an upstairs floor when no one was there. One summer night, they heard what sounded like a grand piano smashing. It was so loud and came from the garage and sounded like a huge piano crashing to the floor. Upon inspection, the garage was empty and intact. 